Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be giving myself an at-home manicure. So if you've been following me for a while, you might know that my nails are real. Yes, these long, crazy nails are my real nails. I got a manicure right before quarantine started in, I believe it was March, early March, and I have not gotten a manicure since then so this has lasted a very long time but as you can see they are super super outgrown so today i'm going to give myself an at home powder manicure i ordered a kit off of amazon and it came in so yeah let's just dive in and get started i'm pretty nervous i have no idea how this is going to come out so wish me luck so this is the kit that i bought this is the acetone, nail filer, buffer, some cotton balls, a little guide that came with the kit. So I'm going to go get my tin foil because I have to soak this manicure off and who knows how long that's going to take. So to start, I cut up some pieces of aluminum foil and I'm going to attempt to soak my manicure off. So I have my acetone, I'm gonna put it in this little bowl, and then I'm going to soak these cotton balls in the acetone and put them on all of my nails. First things first, I should probably take off some of my rings. My watch. Okay, so let's do this. It smells like the nail salon. <laughs> So I didn't think about how difficult this would be because I have to do it to obviously both of my hands, but now one of my hands is already wrapped up. You can see one of them already fell off because now I'm trying to do this hand. So it's a little bit difficult, but we've got this, but you can see like this one fell off. Where's the camera? And it's already starting to peel up the manicure. So I'm excited. I think the acetone is going to work. Dripping all over. We got this, it's okay. Positive thoughts only. Yeah, it's super difficult once your one hand is wrapped. Plus, I'm a righty, I'm not a lefty, so. Oh my gosh, the acetone's like going all down my arm. Eee! <laughs> got one thumb, one more down, one more to go, one more to go. We got this. My nail broke through the tin foil. <laughs> Hello. So, I just wrapped all of my nails up. It was actually kind of difficult because once you wrap one hand, you have to do the other hand, and then it wasn't really working too well. So, all my fingers are wrapped. I'm gonna give it about, I guess, like 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes, I'm not sure. Usually in the salon, I feel like it's 15 minutes, but just to be safe because I don't have like the drills and all of that crazy cool equipment that they have, I'll probably let it soak a little bit longer than usual. But um, while we wait, just to give you guys a little bit of a background on my nail journey, I'll link my nail video below. I have a big video about my nail journey. I'm commonly asked nail questions that I get, but I've been growing out my nails for probably about five years now. It wasn't something that I like had planned to do. It wasn't like, oh, I really want long nails or anything like that. I just started going to cool nail salons in New York City once I started working full time and once I was out of school. And so I started going to cool nail salons like Paintbox, Vanity Projects, Akiko Nails. And every time I would go, they would just ask me if I wanted to keep growing my nails out or if I wanted to cut them shorter. And I just started telling them, don't cut them, they look great, like keep them growing. So eventually my nails were super long. There you have it. Um, my secret to nail growth is just do not pick at your nails, do not try to pull the gel off yourself, always soak it because when you try to peel the gel off you always pull a layer of your nail off. So just a little tidbit to that, but definitely check out my full nail video for all of my tips and tricks and if you have any questions about nail growth or nail maintenance or anything like that, I'm definitely not like the biggest expert, but I know from personal experience what's worked for me. So if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. So I'm gonna let this soak for a while and I will be back soon. So it's been about 20 minutes. I let the acetone soak. So now I'm going to take off the tin foil and kind of see where we're at, see if I can file off the old manicure and if we can start on the new one. Mm, it doesn't look like it came off. I'm gonna probably have to soak them longer. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. Yeah, I'm gonna probably have to soak these for way longer. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this all over. So this is the situation we're working with. It looks like it barely soaked it off. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to let it soak for way longer, but I am gonna just take a little like moment to file the tops of the nails a little bit because I feel like I see my nail girl do that usually and I didn't do that before I put the acetone on actually. So maybe that helps a little bit with getting off the top coat. Hey guys, so two to three hours later and I was finally able to remove all of my powder gel manicure. You can finally see my nails are pretty much for the most part bare. That literally took forever. For anyone who is doing an at-home manicure that, you know, I think you need to know you need to be able to dedicate two full hours to remove your old manicure. So now I think I'm finally at the phase where I can try to start actually doing the manicure. I think I'm just gonna do a silver glitter. I think it's safe. I don't know how to do any designs. So just gonna go for something fun like silver, gl silver glitter, kind of like my shirt. So here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna start by doing a nude underneath the glitter. The reason I'm doing that is I've seen my nail girl do it before. She'll do like a white or just like a nude coat underneath the glitter. So I'm gonna try that out. So I just had to plug my camera in for a quick second because it was starting to die. But so I put on the first layer, which was the nude, and now I'm putting on the silver sparkles. I put on the first half. So what I'm doing is I'm doing half the nail first and then I'm doing the full nail. So I'm gonna do the rest of the nail now. I wanted to go back and get my camera so that I could film it for you guys and show you the process of what this is like, even though I am not an expert and this is my first time ever doing this, so. I have all of the silver on my nails. As you can see, it is very chunky right now and clumpy, so the next step is I have to apply the activator and then I have to wait for, wait for the activator to dry and then that's when I can file my nails and kind of like get them back into shape so let's see how this goes so I finally finished buffing down my nails I think when you're getting your nails done you don't realize how hard it is after you put on all the powder, then your nail girl, your nail stylist has to then file them down to kind of like get the shape back because the powder is so lumpy and chunky. It probably took me an hour just to file them down. This is crazy. I will never take for granted getting my nails done again. This has been a long process, but here's what they look like right now. It's just plain silver glitter, nothing too crazy. Obviously this is my first time ever trying to do my nails on my own in a 
powder kit. So now I just need to seal them and put on the top coat and things like that. So it is 7.15 on May 28th and I started doing my nails at around 2 p.m. this afternoon. That sounds insane. It literally took me all day to do this. So just to start from the beginning and give you guys a little wrap up. The soak off, I thought it was gonna take about 30 minutes. It took about two hours. Then the painting or dipping of the powder part was fine. That didn't take long at all. But then once that was all set on my nails, I then had to buff and file the nails back into shape because the gel or the powder gets very, very like clumpy and rough. And then that probably took another hour, hour and a half in itself because at the nail salon, they use that like mechanical buffer to buff back and forth. And I had to do it all by hand with, I, my nails are still wet, like with the nail file. I was gonna pick up the nail file, but I don't wanna mess it up because God forbid. You can even tell the change in lighting because the day, it's gotten later in the day and now it's darker in here, it's crazy. And Dave got me a green juice <laughs> because I've been sitting here all day trying to do this. So then after I filed them into shape, they were pretty good. And then I had to just put on the top coat. So drum roll, they're still drying, but here is the final product. I mean, not too shabby for me not being a nail artist and I literally have not painted my own nails in over five years. I always go to the nail salon and get a manicure. I always get a gel manicure, a powder manicure, or some sort of design. So first time doing my nails in over five years, not too shabby, I'm pretty proud of myself. I mean, they don't look terrible. And now I know that like, in a situation, if I needed to do my own nails, I could. I could get this kit again and do it again, you know, with the kit. The only thing is, the reason I would have to get the kit again is since I do have long nails, I feel like I used almost all of the base up, so I would need to buy a new one. Also, we only had two casualties. These two nails had little cracks in them, so they're a little bit shorter than the rest, but you can't really tell. Overall, they're good, would recommend this kit off Amazon. It got the job done, it was super good. So that's a wrap for this video, guys. We are a success. I gave myself an at-home powder manicure, which I did not think that I could do. I literally held off for like two months, had my longest grown out manicure I've ever had in my entire life. And yeah, I'm really proud of myself. Gonna go finish my green juice and relax for the rest of the night and watch a movie and celebrate my win. So I will see you soon in the next video. Thanks so much for following along.